Are we going back into a seller's market? Girl, we might be. Keep on watching. If you haven't seen my face before, hi, my name is Victoria Zim, and I'm a local realtor and investor based out of Gilbert, Arizona. Closing deals in high heels is my thing, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give me a follow on Instagram to stay up to date on all things Arizona real estate. Now, without further ado, let's talk about this real estate market, girl. There, there's a lot of stuff going on and we need to catch up. 10 cities have now moved back into a seller market that's right 10 cities hi this is me editing um these are the cities i forgot to mention them and there's actually 11 cities not 10 i said 10 very passionately i was like 10 cities no it's 11 actually so check out the list here this is based on data from the cromford market report which tracks the market indexes for supply and demand and ultimately the supply and demand indexes combine together and give the market index so for the market indexes we are seeing sellers markets still fairly balanced but we are seeing sellers markets in 10 cities in the Phoenix metro area. What does this mean for you though? It's important to know what exactly is a seller's market. A seller's market is when the demand exceeds the supply, meaning there's a higher number of individuals who want houses than the number of houses that are on the market. Of course, the data can say one thing, but people's emotions have to follow and people's emotions have not followed yet. This is still fairly new news and sellers are still having to price their home correctly and be realistic with their expectations and buyers still have negotiating power. Again, the data and the indexes can say one thing, but people's emotions really have to follow for it to be a reality, right? So sellers, listen up. You still need to be realistic and you still need to factor in that you might need to give concessions and price your house properly and you need to be patient, but there is hope. Okay, there is hope because there are more buyers out there. So there's more people who are looking at your property that you have on the market. So things are looking up a little bit. Listings are getting a lot more activity, a lot more showings. And on the buyer's side, there's been a lot more loan applications in the past few weeks than there has been for the past few months. The buyers are out and they are hunting. So sellers, you need to get in front of as many buyers as possible. How do you do this? Hire the right agent. The right agent is going to get professional photos done, hold open houses and really sell your house and get it in front of as many people as possible. It still is taking work for homes to sell. And so even though the buyers are out, they still want the house that looks the best that is listed at the best price, right? And you want to be that house. Out of all the houses in the area, you want to be the it girl. You want to be Yes, like you wanna be the house, okay? Now for buyers. If you've been on the fence for like the past few months, it's totally understandable. Look, the holidays get busy and with interest rates being a little bit higher, it probably scared some of you guys off. And that's understandable. The monthly payment for your house should be doable, okay? Like let's not break our banks, okay? If you've been wanting to get a house for the past few years, you have a really good window of opportunity right now because like I said, people's emotions have yet to follow this data. And while people's emotions are still lagging behind a little bit, you still have negotiating power. It is still technically a buyer's market in people's minds, okay? I just told sellers a minute ago, be realistic, okay? You have realistic sellers who are willing to work with you. Why not put yourself out there? Why not use your negotiating power? Nobody can tell you like, oh, you need to go buy a house, right? That is all on you and your financial situation and what you feel comfortable with. But if you've been waiting for the perfect time, it might be now. If you're looking to get your interest rate bought down or maybe your closing costs covered, you can still negotiate that. And the truth is, I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. The buyer's market that we were in only lasted about four weeks. That was a pretty short buyer's market. And so while we're still kind of coming out of it, you still have your power and it is in your best interest to use it. Buyers and sellers, I hope you guys leave this video with a little bit more information than what you started with. If you are looking to buy or sell a home in this current market, please do not hesitate to reach out. My contact information will be in the description box down below. I would love to help you with that process. And you should see another video pop up on the screen here. Feel free to watch that. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.